Good afternoon and welcome to More Than Meets the Eye. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today we're going to be finishing up our ongoing series of Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origins Jazz. On uh, Tuesday, we discussed Origin Jazz's robot mode. On Wednesday, we discussed how to transform Origins Jazz, and today we're going to be discussing the vehicle mode for Origins Jazz. So if you haven't checked out the two previous parts, then I suggest you check them out now. And, um, you know, so you don't get any spoilers. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you uh, just come across me, I'm Blind Prime. I raise awareness for the blind through alternative means and methods. This includes, but not limited to, Transformers, transformation of Transformers, and, you know, describing action figures based on how they feel, but not how they look. You know, we're all about the how things actually feel in the hand here. We're not, we're not all about the eye candy. Eye cream, except for cat eye candy, yes. Yes, you big old lug. Yeah. Yeah. Who's a good cat? Who's a good cat? You're a good cat. Yes, you are. Okay, so. Wait, the cat's not off my nose. Um, today we're going to be discussing the Origins Jazz Figures vehicle mode and talking about it and comparing it to the Studio Series 86 Jazz's vehicle mode. And, uh, you know, just, just bringing them up and talking about them. So let's get the handy-dandy Lego pad out here, because I don't bring it out enough to discuss vehicle modes anymore, which is a failing on my part, I'll be honest. So let's go ahead and put the Jazz down. And the um, Origins Jazz is... How many studs is that? There's the 16. So there's the 10. That makes this the 5. So it's five, uh, 15 studs in length. Let's check out Studio Series 86 Jazz. Studio Series 86 Jazz is also 15 studs in length. Isn't that interesting? Studio Series 86 Jazz is six studs wide at its thinnest and eight studs wide at its widest. Origins Jazz is six studs wide at its thinnest and it doesn't get much wider except to be about seven studs wide where the spoiler is on the back. And if you're not a car person, a spoiler is the big wing thing that goes across the back of a car. So set those off to the side and let's put the handy dandy Lego pad away. Hi, Cream. Hi, Cream. I gotta put, gotta put the pad away. There we go. Yeah. Didn't mean to interrupt your sleeping. Ow! Don't bite me, you little. You. you love bites and you knocked over a figure. Um, all right. So, let's start talking about these two guys and comparing and contrasting them. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and give them a nice little side-by-side. -side. And no, it does... It doesn't feel exactly like they're the right, you know, the same exact length, but they are the same length. And it's interesting how they managed to get that feeling across. The Origins Jazz feels like a bigger vehicle, but it's not. It's the same size and a bit skinnier than Studio Series 86 Jazz. I think that's an interesting thing to point out. In another interesting part to point out is how these things differ. You know, one in step in their transformation that differed greatly was that Origins Jazz, the doors on the side of his vehicle, which honestly, I don't know why the vehicle had doors in the first place. It's a Cybertronian mode. Uh, the doors on the side of the vehicle fold down into the feet and, uh, add, you know, help uh, stabilize the feet and add a little weight to the bottom area and also do these, you know, do the helpful job of closing in the back gap on the feet. The doors for Studio Series 86 Jazz folded into the backpack area and had nothing to do with the feet. And this led to uh, the feet having those big gaps. But of course, you know, uh, Jazz had those little you know, wing doors on his back, so it made sense for them to put him in that mode for uh, the vehicle. So that's just two, you know, very interestingly different parts. And the, and the hood is another interesting part that was different. The Studio Series 86 Jazz's head folds into the hood, whereas the Origins Jazz's head, actually, um, things fold around it and cover it. The head doesn't move on Origins Jazz. The head on Studio Series 86 Jazz can be a pain in the butt to transform, and Origins Jazz's head is stupid simple. I have to say that. Now, another, another con uh, difference is that Origins Jazz is actually taller than 86 Jazz, but that's because he's like riding on his arms. And uh, Origin Jazz's spoiler is the most spoilery spoiler that ever spoiled the spoils because it's bigger and grander than the Studio Series 86 spoiler on the 86 Jazz. 
which I appreciate because the spoiler when Origins and 86 both become the heels. Origins spoiler is bigger, making it a better heel for your robot. Um, other than that, they both are very solid vehicles. Very solid vehicles. When you get them transformed, nothing about these guys moves around. There's very little gappage going on. This is, you know, it's a nice solid vehicle. It may be difficult to transform 86 Jazz because of all the clearance issues, but when you get him into his vehicle mode, it's a solid thing. And that's the same with Origins Jazz. Origins Jazz is just as solid as 86 Jazz. It feels like a brick. You know, a nice little spacey brick, but it's still a brick nonetheless. And that's that's something I appreciate. You know, it doesn't feel like there's anything loose in there, moving around or anything like that. And um, that's a big bonus to this vehicle. Now, you can not... You can have the uh, the two hands that are in this back that were the siege pegs. You could actually take out the grapple hook stuff that I put in there and put blast effects in those spots because, you know, he is a kind of a space car. And then you can put some blast effects on the back here as well. And you can just go ahead and... Oh, oh, I don't want to drop whatever... For, oh, move whoever that was. Let's see. Uh -huh, there's my blast effect bucket. Let's go ahead and get blast effect out. All right. Let's see what blast effect can we, can we give. Um... Not that blast effect. Oh, these are fun blast effects. Cool, so we're just going to grab two of these guys. All right, let's go ahead and move these two apart. There we go. Yeah, now let's see how they look. Maybe I got ones that are a little too big. Put that one there. And, yep, I got ones that are just a little too big. But we can kind of scrunch them up together. There we go. Look at that. Look at that major napalm um, nitrous action going on there. <laughs> Huge flames coming out the back. I, I think that's really cool that you can do that to make him seem like he's in motion if you have the blast effects for it. I knocked that figure over. Let's put those things back and close that up so I don't lose them. And um, continue. So that's the vehicle mode um, bits and pieces. I like the blast effects. It doesn't have any moving you know, tires, no tires at all, which, which is kind of sad. I think it'd been neat if they'd given us some caster wheels. That would have been fun. But... For the most part, you know, this guy's supposed to, I guess you're supposed to kind of put him on a flight stand. And if you want to, you can put him on a flight stand and use one of his ports for his hands to uh, be the connection point for the flight stand. So you can have him flying and you can actually tilt him over at angles and stuff, which is a really fun thing that you can do with this. And overall, I think that this is an excellent vehicle transformation. It's a, you know, it's a space sports car. So, you know, it's sci-fi sportsy, and uh, I, I approve. I, I really do. Um, I wish it had more gimmicks to the vehicle mode, but overall, this vehicle mode is, is excellent. And it's a great Cybertronian vehicle mode, and it will fit well within the rest of the Siege collection if you have anything from Siege, because you know, we never got a, a Cybertronian version of Jazz until now. We finally have a Cybertronian Jazz that you can put amongst your Siege collection and have him, you know, fighting alongside Siege Hound or something like that. Which, honestly, you know, Siege Hound is still one of my top favorites from the Siege line entirely. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that's just a quick little video on Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origins Jazz in their vehicle mode. There's not really much to say about this vehicle mode except the things that I've already said. Uh, Feel-wise, it's all this smooth, slick plastic. I almost forgot to do that. Except in the front, where we got the, where we got his grill. We got that nice venti action going on there. I love me some vent action. And then the headlights underneath. But everything else about this 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 vehicle mode is smooth, and the plastic is amazing. And um, I heard it's white, so I'm hoping that this doesn't suffer from yellowing. But then again. Uh, being blind, that's a bonus. I'll never even see the yellowing. So to me, it will always be pearly white, no matter how yellow it gets. Thank you for watching today's video, and please tune into my channel, Blind Underscore Prime, for full in-depth reviews from a blind person's perspective. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button, comment below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So whenever I bring up any content, and if I post anything, you'll be notified immediately. And uh, that would help me out, because I enjoy... Uh, under knowing that I'm being watched. Uh, I enjoy the, the, the idea that my videos could actually be helping a person. I mean, after all, I built this entire channel to help people, you know, to help the, the blind and the, and the visually impaired fight back against depression, 
through a means that I discovered that helps me fight back against depression. So I'm sharing you with you the tools that I use to help me every day of my life. And hopefully my tools can help another person. And you know, that's the entire basis of this channel. And if I could help one person, then I made a success. Thank you for watching, and please tune in next Pride. We're going to be talking about some uh, a very fun figure that I got. A transformer that isn't a transformer. Instead, it's a D20. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Please tune in next Pride. Bye-bye for now.